Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and welcome to episode 3 of Harper at University. So Harper is having a chatty family call with her dad. Um, he has called probably 50 times since this Let's Play started. So <laughs> I felt like she needed to give him a call back. Um, we are currently in Windenburg and we're in sort of the, the main little area with all the shops. And I will leave a link to the lot that we're currently at in the description. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. She is in Windenburg today so that she can get her nails done. So she's going to a spa um, after this quick chat with her dad so that she can um, get her nails done before the party. So today is spooky day, which you'll see in just a minute. And we are having our spooky day party later. So let's see, I think she got a mood lid from her dad. Let's see what that was. And then I can kind of fill you in on some of the stuff that we did um, off camera since our last ep episode. So I think she had um, the date with Jackson and that ended like early evening on Thursday. So we did do some stuff last night to work on her academic stuff as well as her research and debate or her debate guild stuff. So I'll show you what that is. Um, did she get a moodlet from talking to her dad? Yeah. So reassured by family call from chatting with supportive family member. That call was exactly what Harper needed. Nothing makes her feel better than a good old family pep talk, even through the phone. So I think that she has this option because her and her dad have the supportive family dynamic, which comes with the um, growing together expansion pack, I believe. So that's where that comes from. Um, so getting into what we did overnight. So she did research a topic. She also finished her term paper. So her term paper is done. The only thing that she has to worry about now is studying for her final exam, which I believe is going to be on Monday. Yeah, it's going to be on Monday, I believe, because she's only got four days left of term. So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be on Monday. So she needs to study for that. And I apologize if you can hear like airplane noise. I live by a hobby airport. So an airport for people who have way too much time on their hands, who have little hobby planes that they fly around. So you might be hearing that. And if you can, I apologize. But um, so she needs to study for that. So that's something that we still have to do this weekend coming up. And then we also reached level five of the writing skill. Let's see. What else she did and yeah, she reached level five of the writing skill that was in class today she also researched fitness so the reason why she's researching fitness is because i want her to improve her fitness skill because we have to fight valerie we have to beat her and i don't care how many times it takes us until we get our fitness skill up high enough to be able to beat valerie we're going to continue to fight valerie for the entirety of this let's play i don't think it will sit right in my spirit to not do that so that is that is a little side quest that we have going on. So since she already had to research a topic, I decided it just made sense for her to research um, fitness, which got her to fitness level two. So we'll probably continue to work on that. So that did tick off the research any topic task that she had. She also watched a little bit of news on TV. So we were able to tick that off. So the only thing left to do is convince a sim to do something. And she can do that now because she reached level three of the research and debate skill while she was researching the topic. So that allows her to convince other Sims to bathe or do a keg stand, which is actually perfect because we're going to be having a keg party tonight. So that's the perfect opportunity for her to convince someone to do a keg stand. So while she was researching the fitness skill and increasing her research any topic and her skill level, she was able to tick off the first level of the academic aspiration so we are now on level one and we have to reach level five of the research and debate skill attend three guest lectures and finish a course with an a grade so i think it's going to be relatively easy for us to do one in three two is going to be the real issue because i have a really hard time remembering to do those guest lectures they're at just such a random time of day and it doesn't always work out with our schedule so i'm going to try my best to make sure that we try and get through all of those so that she can continue on to the next level of the aspiration um what else did we do she did some yoga so she has a centered and focused moodlet from that um and that got us to 96 percent 
of the wellness skill. So I think if she does one more solo yoga session, she will be at level five, which will then allow us to, I think she could already host the classes, but I didn't want her to host the classes until she was at level five. So that is what she did while we were away. Um, the party is later today. So we're going to be having the party at Jackson's frat house because we didn't have enough room at our house for the Sims that we wanted to invite. So she doesn't have a lot of Sims. It's just going to be um, like 20 or so students from both Foxbury and Brightchester. Most of them are folks that we already know. But she needs to be home to get all of the food because even though Jackson is hosting the party, we are still the ones who requested it. So she needs to have food. So I'm going to have her go ahead and get over to the salon or the spa. Her appointment, I believe, is at five. So we'll get over there now. And then we will talk about kind of her goals for what I want her to do at the party tonight. Okay, so we made it to the spa just in time for Harper's appointment. The hope is to get her out of here by no later than 6 30 since she has to order all the food and what i've learned from my testing is that you have to order everything separately so if she wants to do pizza and wings she's got to order each pizza separately and she's got to order the wings separately so i will have to make sure that we have enough time to do that um, and why is every time I test this, there's just one random dude who stands over her the entire time. Panya? I don't know who Panya is. I feel like he might be new, so maybe he's from Tomarang. But the fact that he's just standing here looking so angry is making me very uncomfortable. Anyways, so goals for the party. Um, of course, I want her to continue to make friends and spend some time talking to Jackson. But the main goal, I invited the sorority girls from Brightchester from the school or from the sorority that her mother attended. So um, I invited several of them to attend. And I think Penny Pizzazz is one of them also, who we already know. But the goal is to introduce herself to them and create a rapport, build a rapport, because they're going to be having a mixer on Sunday, I believe, for new members. And I want her to be able to attend that. So I want her to be invited to attend. And I would love her. I would love for her to be able to join that sorority and potentially move into the sorority house for her second term. So that is one of the main goals for the party and I'll point out um the sorority members once we get to the party is she done nope too much like um perfect that would have been too much like right so no that was definitely not going to happen um okay sorry I got distracted I don't know if I've ever paid attention to how freakishly large the nail polish bottle is for <laughs> for manicures that is absurd like why is it that size all right let's see what miko wants uh hey so this might be a bad time but i came back to our place and i seem to have um locked myself out ha 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 silly me so could you come home like no rush but right now would be good so i can tell from the hairstyle that she's in her pajamas so i don't know why she was outside in her pajamas but she's gonna have to wait because we are getting pampered before our big party. So she already has a mood lit for liking the color brown and the fact that I made her nails a neutral color. So I always do that because I put nails that I like on top of those nails. I just get the nails that um, she gets from the spa so that she can get the mood lits, but I would prefer the ones that I can add in game. And then she got another one for got a manicure and feeling great. So, uh, so far, so good for the day. Let's now get changed and then head home so that we can start getting ready for the party. Okay, so we are back home and Miko is nowhere to be found. So I'm going to assume that she was able to find her own way in. Um, let, yeah, she's right there. <laughs> she's in the house. That's wild. I don't know what that is. Candy is calling. It's good to hear your voice, Harper. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Ekram Elderberry a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Um, he is much older than you and he very much has a wife and I don't know that she would appreciate this young hot tenderoni getting to know her husband. So absolutely not. If I were you, I would not do that. All right, so let's start our order. 
Oh my gosh, Elijah Sinclair is calling the chat. Want to answer? She just called her dad and had a whole chat with him. No. Um, all right, so let's do Zoomers Delivery Plus. Let's do chicken and let's do three of the originals. And then we'll have to wait until that gets here. Is Miko coming out to talk to us? She is. I can't believe I forgot my key. I swear it won't happen again. I'm so glad you came by. Except you were already in the house when we got here. So like, make it make sense, Miko. Make it make sense. All right, so she's gonna use the restroom and wash her hands while we're waiting for the chicken. And then we need to pretty much immediately be ready to place the pizza order. Um, so I went over to Jackson's frat house to set some stuff up before the party put a little table outside because when I tested I had it inside and uh, <laughs> everyone kept going inside because they've got of course it's a frat house so they have all kinds of cool stuff in there they had um, video games and they had another um, ping pong table in the basement and there's a gym in the basement and like all kinds of stuff so everyone was kind of spreading out and not doing what I needed them to do why is this chicken taking so long I did order it right I didn't order it because she started talking to me like what happened I could have sworn I did but I don't see it so I'll order it again this this is what I don't have time for um one two three all right she never made the call i'm assuming because miko came over that's frustrating because we really don't have time for that and let's take it's a very long call okay so now she's placed the order and we will go upstairs i guess and just go ahead and get changed into our costume while we're waiting so her costume is, I don't know what she is. Maybe she's a crow. I'm going to go with crow because I just randomly chose a really pretty dress and a headpiece. I think I started with the headpiece and I really liked it. And I thought that I thought it looked really good on her. And then I just kind of chose the rest of her costume around it. So while we have a few minutes, I'll just show you what her costume looks like. So let me have her just step over here go here all right so here is her costume and I think it's really cute but again I don't know what she is I can't tell you she's just a crow person so she's got this really pretty form-fitting black dress on and there's some sort of like skeletal hand jewel bracelet thingies and then of course the centerpiece is the headpiece this is I think all Sentate, so the the headpiece is certainly Sentate, I believe the dress is. I don't remember where the hand skeleton things came from. I've had them for a really, really long time, and I think the earrings are rusty, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll confirm. All right, so we should be closer to having our food, yes, our food's almost here. So let's go grab that so that we can order the pizza, and we've got an hour for the pizza to get here before we need to be heading out the door. I'm hoping that I can get her over there a little bit early so that she can set up because I have to make sure that I lock the doors before everyone else comes. But that also includes making sure that all of the people who live in the frat house, why would you put my chicken on the floor? I'm standing right here. Um, all the people who live in the, in the frat house need to come out. So I have to, it's a whole to do. And for whatever reason, Gabby is in her underwear, open delivery, and then let's place our second delivery, Zoomers Plus, Little Miss Sam's food delivery, and then let's do a combination pizza. So I think she's gonna open that up and put it in her pockets. And then what's this? Eating at home from ordering Zoomers. Harper has committed to a nice meal at home away from the crowds of a restaurant and without the hassle of sweating over a stove wonderful all right so we will continue to wait for that and gabby has gotten dressed and she is leaving maybe she's on her way to the party ahead of us we're just going to sit here and wait so i think we've i don't know how we got decorated because we're not able to decorate um or are we i did try and sneak in a little decoration thing 
somewhere around here. It's like in a random location where no one would actually need to be. At least I thought I did, maybe I forgot. Um, but she got the decorated one checked off from just being at the, um, the coffee shop. Apparently the coffee shop was decorated. So we checked that one off. She's had several coffees today. I'm guessing that that counts for her drinks. Let's grab our pizza. 42 simoleons. That is a ridiculous amount of money for a pizza. Did she? Okay, well, let's just pick up that pizza and put it in your pockets. And then we'll head over in a second. But yeah, so she really just has to focus on the party spirit. And then I'm going to have to manually check off the wear costumes because what she's wearing currently doesn't count. So I'll have her head over there so that we can get set up for the party. And then hopefully you guys will see a fully functional keg party <laughs> in The Sims immediately after a major patch was implemented. So I'm saying all of that to say, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the party is underway and we have tapped the juice keg. And I think just to knock out that one part of our aspiration or our um, debate thing let's convince penny to do a keg stand and then we got an attractiveness alert for liam fletcher this is liam so she's got an attractiveness alert for liam um that's surprising because he doesn't have any of the very strange qualities that I set her up with. She did convince us him to do something. I don't know if she's doing it. Okay, so we'll talk to Liam in a second. There is, um, oh, there is so much happening and we dropped Penny on the ground. That is not gonna go very far towards helping us to get in the sorority. All right, so lots of things are happening. So let's take a second. <laughs> Let's take a second to see everything that's going on. So we've got lots of Sims here. There is Miko and that guy is Ryan. He is one of the gallery Sims. This is a gallery Sim as well that Harper wants to talk to. So I will have her go ahead, not a flirty introduction. Jackson's right there. Let's do a friendly introduction. And then we have Ali Purdue. So Ali is, um, also a Maxis sim he is the dj and then over here i think is jules that is cameron fletcher this is julia there's emma or becca emma's over here and then here's another one of the sorority members page and is that everyone that we have out here they're all just in this one tiny little spot so nina caliente is also a um a sorority member and this is old Nina because I don't have new Nina in this save yet so apologies and then here is the leader of the sorority that is Michaela Michaela is a sim of mine that I absolutely adore and when I was thinking of who should be the leader of the sorority she was the one who immediately came to mind so that is gonna be the leader of our sorority I think we're gonna grab something to eat because we're starving and I want to grab something before it's all gone so um, I think the only other thing that she has left to do after she eats is start intro her, introducing herself to some of the other sorority members. And then also she's already met Liam. So she introduced herself to him, it looks like. Um, so I don't, I, I was not expecting her to have a crush on him. I don't see him in her, yeah, there he is. I wasn't expecting her to have a crush on him, but he is cute though. Um, so another note, I locked up the house so no one can access it, but if they have to use the restroom, they do have a handy dandy pea bush on the other side of the lot that they can access. So if you see people start to kind of like head over there, that's why. And then what do we have over here? So someone has been making drinks and there is a glass of Martini Doro, a great aperitif before a meal. It is good to serve with light snacks, salads or fruits, as well as fish, seafood or white meat. I don't know if that's a Max's drink or if that's from a custom food. He is getting it over here on this DJ booth. I am feeling that. So we do need to introduce ourselves to Paige as well. Um, let's do a funny introduction to Paige. And then we should also introduce ourselves to Michaela. 
Let's do a funny introduction to her as well. Nobody is dancing, but this does very much remind me of what college parties were essentially like. Like everybody would just kind of stand around and talk. I feel bad for Ollie because he is really going in over there and no one is paying any attention to him. So what is this moodlet that we have? Feeling smitten from being enamored by someone nearby. I'm going to assume that that's Jackson and not Liam since she just met him. And then tap from successfully tapping a juice keg. Harper, what would you say Harper like silly behavior? No. Um, Harper is keg tapping professional. Now the juice keg is ready for all to bask in its juicy goodness all right and then we have to have three sims dance at the same time which i think we could do because we have all of our roommates with us in a group and then thank a guest for coming so let's i mean it's weird for us to thank um jackson for coming considering the fact that we're at his house but let's just thank him for coming where is it was it here it's somewhere in here i just saw it Complaints, compliments, deep thoughts, gossip. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. All right, so for now, let's go ahead and start the dancing. I do like that I had everyone come back into this yard as opposed to being like spread out all over the house. Whose feet are lifted in the air? Is that? Okay, that's um, Patina. Okay, so she's dancing. We need one other sim to dance with her. Boom, got it. That's done. And then I don't remember where Thank for Coming is, but Michaela is very angry. I don't know what she's so upset about, but I, can I thank her for coming to my party? Um, all right, this is going to bother me. All right, everybody freeze. Where is Thank for, <laughs> thank for Coming? I just saw it when I wasn't looking for it. It was right there. Um, I'm so confused. All right, friendly, small talk. It wasn't in here because it was in like some sort of side menu that I saw. Talk about the sunny weather. Interests, hobbies, gossip, deep thoughts. Complaints, affection, activities. Thank for coming. There it is. I knew I saw it somewhere. All right, so thank for coming. All right, so now it looks like she's in a better mood. And I absolutely love the costume that she has on. And it is the perfect costume for Michaela. Y'all don't know Michaela, but from everything that I know of having played with Michaela over the years, that is the perfect costume for her. Okay. So she is still dancing. She is having the time of her life. Let's find Jackson. It is so funny that Jackson and Liam are standing right by each other. Talk about marriage. I'm lost. Hold hands. Why doesn't he go to the bathroom? No one is stopping him. I feel like he's going to have an accident though. And that's going to be a problem for me because we are in very close quarters. So let me control him. Yeah, he's having a really hard time. He is going through it. Come over here to this pee pee bush, sir. You didn't see the bush? Go fertilize that bush. All right, so back over here, and I'm just gonna to continue to control him so that I can make sure that he actually does it. Yes, mosey on over there. And then let's have her come over here and talk to Jackson. He's having a very large conversation. I don't know why we would insult him. Oh, cause I'm not on the right sim. Maybe they don't like each other. I don't know what that T is, but we'll figure that out later. The lighting looks really good. Um, confess to never having woohoo. That is an inappropriate conversation to have at a party. She has reached dancing level two, which is nice. Let's be friendly and let's show some affection. Uh, I love you. Okay, so let's not show some affection. Let's compliment, be flattering. And then what else is going on over here that is important? We can stop dancing now. She can stop dancing. Um, personality impression for Becca Clark. Reach dancing level two, I already said that. Ollie's getting some tips. We got a sentiment with Julia. I don't know when we reached research and debate level four. I don't know how we did that. I don't know what we were doing when we did that, but we did that. Um, a 
okay more tips we're still chatting everyone's having a great time this might be the the most sims that i've ever had attend a party i think it's like 20 people here and that's a lot for me i'm very easily overwhelmed but at least everyone appears to be having a good time um we've already talked how about if we do let's play juice pong with a teammate and let's have jackson be our teammate and let's play against um not liam <laughs> not liam we still need to figure out the liam situation let's play against our roommate so let's do miko and where's gabby i haven't seen gabby gabby is catwoman i don't know where she is but let's just do patina now let's do emma i like emma and i don't see gabby anywhere did gabby leave is she not here yeah, she's not here. Come to the party, ma'am. You're being ridiculous. She's wearing a really cool Catwoman costume, too. I want to see that. Um, We're not doing what I asked. She's talking to Liam. Stop talking to Liam and go play Juice Pong. Your teammates are waiting for you. And they're walking away. They're giving up. Is she participating? Is she a part of this game? I don't know if she's part of the game. All right, so the party continues. She is obviously not participating in this juice pong game. It's just between Jackson and Miko. So since you're not participating, oh wait, or are you? It just says wait. And Becca's on the wrong side. She's on Jackson's side instead of being on Miko's side. So I don't think we're participating. Oh no, we are. Oh, she got another attractiveness alert for Ollie. And Ali has walked away from his DJ responsibilities. And everyone is still dancing to the stereo, but I prefer the DJ booth. So Ali, get back up there. No one told you to stop. Ali, get back over here. Play hip hop music. Okay, so I'm assuming that she's having, that everyone's having fun. I, randomly, people are changing. Oh. The weather changed. We don't want that to happen. Let's go back to cool weather so that they don't start putting on their winter outfits. Okay, and this is Ryan. Ryan is calling over a random dog. Who is this dog? Is this your dog, Ryan? I don't know who this dog is. Crystal, the adult dog. And then also, is this a teacher? Did a teacher show up at our party? I don't understand what's going on. There's just so much happening. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so everyone is still dancing. They are still having fun. We only have one person who has randomly decided to take off their costume. Did we win the game? We won the game. It's 2.10 a.m. Lots of alerts are happening over here. And Juice Pong is done. What a fun game. Game goes to Harper Sinclair with a score of four. Sorry, Miko. Oh, he'll better luck next time. Four to one. So we won. Um, so much is going on. Spooky Day was successful. This is for Ollie. We already know about that. We don't know Ollie, so I guess we should introduce ourselves to him since we find him attractive. And then, did this guy go to the bathroom? He did not go to the bathroom. He peed himself, didn't he? Does he have... No, no, he used a bush. He used a bush. Okay, well, I don't know why he's having a problem. I'm going to stop um, controlling him, though. Um, actions don't control him. Okay, so let's introduce ourselves to Ollie, and then I think we're going to start wrapping up this party. It is 2.28, and she does have um, debate showdown in the morning. I really think this should not be here unless you live in Tomarang. I don't, I don't understand why that's there. And then what else did we get? Active lesson. Jeremy is active and I think that's great for him. Okay, so can we go introduce ourselves to Ollie so that we can wrap up this party? She does want to do something romantic, so we'll do that with Jackson. Um, romance. Flirtation. Let's blow him a kiss. And then I don't know why she's just standing here. I'm assuming because she couldn't introduce herself to Ollie. Let's see if this counts as something flirty. 
Do something romantic. Yes, it does. Okay. So that ticked off. And now she wants to freshen up in the mirror. No one has time for that. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping up the party. And by wrapping up the party, I mean wrapping up the party for Harper with Jackson. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock this back door. And we are going to have just the two of them head up to Jackson's bedroom. So let's chat here which would mean I hope that just the two of them will go yes all right and this giant fence is in the way is Liam coming with us because that would be really awkward he certainly should not be he was not invited where is Jeremy going he lives here All right, so before anyone shows up in this room, we're gonna lock this door. We're gonna lock it for everyone. Lock for everyone. And then I'll let them chat. I don't know what he's talking to her about, but it's not what I want him to be talking to her about. So let's talk about, oh, I'm not Trump controlling him. Let's control him. Um, actions, control sim. And then let's have him be flirty. I think it's time to flirt. She's feeling very flirty and he is feeling very um, energized. So let's flirt and then let's use some of our new interactions. What do we have? Sure, whatever, like fitness. But can you do what I asked? I am so annoyed with these Sims. I've been having this issue a lot since the new pack where they never do what I'm asking them to do the first time. So I end up having to ask them like three or four times to do the exact same thing. All right, so now he's doing it. And then I want him to also, let's see, what other options do we have? Romance, get to know. What makes you happy? That's a good question to ask a person that you are interested in dating. And then your smile is contagious. That's a nice compliment. I love that for us. And then, I'm okay with Amorous Hug. Let's get down with that hug. And then it is now 3.40 a.m. Tell me more about yourself. Seems weird at this moment. Let's do, let's just go for it. Physical intimacy. Um, where are my kiss options? Let's do a grab and kiss. And then we'll see what all this stuff is over here that they're saying. Are we gonna do the grab and kiss? I don't know what's going on with his fingernails. So many weird things are happening. Yes. Now they're just looking at each other. This is uncomfortable. No, no, do reveal a deep secret. Don't, do the kiss. Harper and Jackson are both having their very first kiss. Oh, and it's so nice. Look at that. Oh, this is happening for a long time. This is going on for a lot longer than I anticipated. Okay. All right. It felt uncomfortable at the end there because it was going on for so long. Um, but they got first kiss socialization mood lit. I think she got one as well. She also has high desire at this moment. And she is flirty from the hug that she got. She's f fresh and frisky. Oh my gosh. Oh, there are so many mood lids. Um, romantic atmosphere from the lot trait, feeling fulfilled from want fulfillment, secret revealed, hearing a juicy secret will make any sim giddy with excitement, um, deep connection, she's tired of course because it is 4.10 a.m. And then what does Jackson have going on? A friend's two cents from friendly advice sentiment, being around a sim that cared enough to help, give helpful advice gives Jackson a burst of energy surrounded by friends he also got the same first kiss one and he made a new good friend i don't know who that was all right so i think what we should probably do is leave the party went well we got a gold event i think we should go 
yeah, I think we're going to stop controlling all of these sims and we're going to head home in hopes because I think that thing starts at 8 a.m. So this is just in hopes that she's going to be able to get a little bit of sleep. That's not where I need to be um, so that she can not be completely exhausted before the event. And everybody is still having so much fun. I almost don't want to end the party, but I can't leave if I don't. So. All right, so stop controlling Ollie. She never got to introduce herself to Ollie. Who is this guy? Nathan, I didn't even invite an adult man named Nathan to the party. And then we've still got some people randomly hanging out over here. Um, There's still some pizza. Should we take that back with us? I kind of feel like we should, we brought that pizza. All right, so let's, let's go get the rest of our pizza, put an inventory and then we'll head home. Okay, so we're leaving the party, but some sort of weird bug is happening where I started off at level, I think, three of the Charisma skill, which I got from um, completing the party. But then randomly, I also got four, five, six, and seven. Like immediately after that, I just kept getting notifications about increases in Charisma. I don't know if I was actually getting them, to be fair, but for whatever reason, it kept increasing my charisma skill i don't know if that's a bug or like what kind of weird thing is happening in the sims right now let's see what happened so yeah i don't know if y'all saw that yeah so she, it says she's at charisma level nine where does it say she is over here it says she's at charisma level nine she shouldn't be she should be at charisma level three I don't even know how that happened she just got one for completing the party and that made sense but then after that they just kept going so anyway harper is on charisma level three she can now donate to online charities practice pickup lines at a mirror and can flatter other sims okay so we will have her come in here and i don't even know if getting ready for bed makes sense honestly um let's just do a quick nap I have her do a quick nap and then I think I will end this episode here and then we will come back for the Saturday episode which will actually be Saturday and that will be um, the the debate showdown as well as probably starting some studying and maybe she'll go on another date but I definitely do think that she needs to explore whatever the situation is with Liam a little bit and then also introduce herself to Ollie so that we can see if she's got some connections. I did say that I wasn't going to do that because she is showing that she is in love with Jackson but I also checked and Jackson is not showing that he is in love with Harper so I don't want her to put all of her eggs in that basket and then end up getting her feelings hurt at some point so yeah let's have her come take a nap. And then, like I said, I'm going to leave this part here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.